Hello, 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 Cancer. How are you? It's very nice to see you. This is the Phoenix Cloud. My name is Isa, and I am doing your general love reading for the week. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Please take the parts that resonate for you guys. Leave the parts that don't. If nothing resonates in your Sun Sign Cancer, then definitely check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if those don't resonate, feel free to check out my older readings. Okay, the description box has all the stuff you need to know about me, like where you can find me on other social media platforms, and also where you can uh, purchase a lot of the cards that I'm using. Last but not least, if it does resonate for you, please make sure you give me the thumbs up. All right, don't forget to subscribe and come on back. And also, <clears throat> excuse me, you can comment down below, okay? Let's take a look at your energy with your person, okay? What are you thinking and feeling? What is Cancer thinking and feeling regarding their person? Okay, you're not happy. Some of you are not happy in your connection. You might be going through a lot of different things, but I feel like some of you may be trying to find solutions to the way you're thinking and feeling about this connection right now, okay? So um, you may feel as if you're the only one putting energy into it that the other person may not be giving enough, all right? What else? Not feeling satisfied. <clears throat> Here you go. I feel like that's what you really want, though. At some point, this was a very satisfying connection here with the Ten of Cups, okay? And I feel like you're getting emotional support from people in your life. It's just not from the person that you're looking for the support. Like, you're looking for it from them, and they're not giving you that support that you feel like you need right now, okay? What's going on with this person? What are they thinking and feeling about the connection, please? with cancer <clears throat> yeah definitely maybe downplaying what's really going on here okay uh, i feel like this person could feel very insecure with the eight of swords but i feel more like they're sort of projecting that onto you with the eight of wands they're kind of projecting to you that or or saying that you're the one who's being insecure okay but definitely they're trying to maybe um how do i want to say that they're yeah, they're downplaying it. They're they're kind of dismissive of your feelings is what I feel like, okay? They're to, you know, you could feel that somebody here is telling you, "Oh, you're just thinking too hard. It's not all that blah 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 blah." Okay? We do have that this could very well possibly be some sort of long distance relationship here with the 8 of wands. What's the mutual energy between Cancer and their person? There is definitely a, it's like a repeat of issues that are happening here, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse with the Six of Swords. This is things not flowing, trying to change the direction of stuff, but it's not actually happening. It keeps going right back to what it was, okay? So yeah, I get why you would feel like you need some sort of help here now, right? Like maybe you guys need to see a counselor or something like that. You feel dissatisfied. And this person, because I feel this dismissive energy, I feel that this person doing that is part of why this cycle continues over and over again okay you're trying to change the way the direction of this relationship what's the challenge what's the challenge both are stuck in some sort of repeating cycle here three of pentacles in reverse y'all are not getting along okay um it's a it's a lopsided team right it's, it's there's an eye in this team it doesn't work there's not enough support there's not enough care there's not enough maybe not even even enough love but i don't even see any cups out here except for yours 
okay, on your side and feel free to reverse it because it could be the other way around. Maybe you're not giving to this situation because you're fed up for some reason. All right, but whatever this is, this is just something that keeps repeating itself. <clears throat> it needs to improve, okay? Let's talk about the hidden factor. What's the hidden factor, please? That's something we don't see. The hidden factor is that, you know, there is a, a history here. There's a lot of good memories, good times, um, kindness, uh, joy, okay, childlike energy. You could be past life soulmates here with the Six of Cups. Um, and the hidden energy may be that both of you might need to just sit down and have apologies with each other, okay? I'm not quite sure what the issue is here, but uh, we might get to the bottom of that when we pull some more cards and we start clarifying, okay? Show me the potential outcome. Potential outcome. <clears throat> potential outcome. This is getting uncomfortable, okay? Something's going to have to change. You're going to have to choose to move forward here, you or your person, in order to, you know, get out of your comfort zone. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. This is indecision, but I definitely feel like this is letting, letting go. You got to let go of overthinking or whatever has happened in this particular connection. If you guys want to make this work, then you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. Okay, that's that's what's possible here. What's possible is that you can develop a plan. You can, uh, you know, let go of being guarded and or confused, that kind of stuff. We got the devil at the bottom. There's some toxicity here. It could be codependency, maybe just arguing. Somebody got hurt. There's still, I feel like someone's trying to heal here. Someone, this person could have said something or did something that really, truly broke your heart, okay? That hurt you. I think that's it for this deck. All right. Let's check out a couple more cards here and then I'm going to clarify a little bit. Okay. Give you guys a little bit of a better idea. What's going on in this connection, please? You, somebody might be easily triggered by the other one. Okay, we have triggers, name, car, place, things like that. Something or or something something this person may do may trigger you. We have the insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. There is definitely a lot of chemistry and sexual attraction between you two. What else? There's a lot of telepathy. Okay. So there could be a lot of issues in this connection that maybe have to do with money as well. We have pretending fake living beyond means, but somebody may be, this person may be disconnecting from you and they're pretending like they might want to be very involved in this relationship, okay? We also have the alien, which talks about telepathic dreams and songs, okay? Let's see what else we got here. I'm going to grab one or two more cards from here. What else do we have here, please, for cancer? Do some of you feel like this person stays with you to keep money or something like that? I don't know why I'm getting that. We have the ghosting and we have the cock block, okay? So um, there's really, I feel like you guys don't really talk to each other and there's probably not any um, sexual relationship happening in this connection, okay? I feel like you guys may not be uh, having sex and stuff like that. All right. Let's see. Let's You know what? Actually, I feel to use this other deck to clarify. So let me grab it. I like this one sometimes. All right. Let's do a little bit of clarifying, okay? Let's find out first why the Three of Pentacles is the challenge. Why is that the challenge here in this connection, please? Why is the Three of Pentacles the challenge? King of Swords. There's something that, there's some honesty that needs to be had here or truth that may need to come out. Okay. 
What else? Why is this Three of Pentacles the challenge? Could be a conversation, Nine of Swords. Okay, a lot of anxiety about having the conversation, taking charge here. Okay, making this work somehow. Um, the challenge is support. Why do I feel like somebody doesn't support you or something like that? Like they don't always have good things to say. Okay, and that's what feels like the challenge because somebody somebody may have some type of depression here. Maybe they take things out on you, okay? So it's kind of like, why try? They're just going to do it again, right? There's, like we said, there's this repeating cycle here. So let's see what's going on with your energy. Why do we, why do, why is the five of pentacles here? I feel like we have the Page of Swords and we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're trying to find um, ways and means to help you guys. And some of you may be trying to find ways and means to be more independent here. Okay. Um, I think you're trying to use whatever resource you can, whether that's people or information. You're trying to use something to help you deal with this connection, okay? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, this comes with a price. That's what it feels like. This comes with a price, Okay, you're not happy. Um, you know, the, the relationship is not fulfilling. There's a lot of struggle here and burdens and stuff. Okay, um, some of you are definitely married with the King of Pentacles here, but I feel like you went from being a stable person to not feeling that way anymore. And many of you want to maybe gain your independence back here. Okay, but I feel as if you're trying to lean on friends or other resources to try to help either, you know, work out what's going on here and figure out, you know, what you need to do to make it work or for others of you to help you to leave and move on. Okay, because you're beginning to this is the mutual energy. Y'all just keep going around and around, round and round in a circle here. Okay. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? The world, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, there's a feeling of I'm not going to, I don't know how do I do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. A feeling of lack, Five of Pentacles again, okay? Um, you may not have the money or the resources to get out of this relationship, okay? Some of you may be experiencing health issues or your person is, so it makes it, um, hard to to walk away for it, from it, okay? You may really feel like you, you, you know, some of you, this person is definitely at a distance or you have to travel to see each other. You may really feel like you're falling on hard times here, all right? But you do have family and you do have the love of people that are willing to support you for this new beginning here with the world, okay? This is talking about having these amazing beginnings and ending things in your life. And I feel like you want to end, even if it's, you know, side note, even if it's you having financial issues that could be getting to this relationship or just having those issues in general or feeling abandoned, this is something that you want to wrap up in your life and move on from, okay? You want more abundance. You want more uh, joy, happiness, and freedom. And, f and money doesn't buy everything, but what it can do is buy you freedom to be able to do things you want or to get away from this situation, okay? Why does this person have the Eight of Swords? Remember I said they they seem to be downplaying what's really bothering you and kind of uh you're just in your head right why is the eight of swords here <clears throat> okay to this person they're just like oh my gosh it's nothing but good times here nine of cups three of wands you're just in your head you just wait and see everything's gonna be fine okay either when it comes to your finances or like we're just fine like this is us 
Okay, this is what we do. We just do the same thing over and over again, right? But that doesn't mean that it's healthy. Okay, we did see the devil come up here, all right? Why do we have the four of wands, please? Uh -huh. The magician and the hermit. Okay, Virgo energy. Let me tell you the signs real quick that I'm picking up here the most. There's no real solid sign. You could be dealing with... Um, could be dealing with Virgo. Could be dealing with... Um, I want to say Aries. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So what I'm getting with this is that the foundation is shaky and this person may be trying to figure out what they can do, okay? They do have the conscious awareness with the hermit. They have the awareness that things are shaky, but I feel like they're downplaying it, okay? Because this person has gotten very used to... Um, accepting that this is what it is okay but it doesn't make it good it doesn't make it healthy and it doesn't mean that you guys are going further in this connection okay the magician's a powerful person they know what they're capable of doing but however i feel like this person kind of holds back from doing it it's like they have the answers but they're withholding the answers here okay so you may feel that this person could be hiding things at times why is the eight of wands here Yeah, this person, they do, they want, you know, again, we have travel here, but like, they, there's a secret here. Oh, no. Ace of Wands is big wood card. What is going on here? Pisces energy. They might be talking to somebody else at a distance. Okay, this is weird. I'm getting a lot of this similar type of reading why is the high priestess here what's being hidden please okay um either this person wants to bring back that passion from the past okay and you'll know if that's you you'll know if that resonates for you because this is about healing and then we have again reconciling okay ace of wands a new beginning and the high priestess here okay intuition and but this could be secrets for the majority of you what i feel is that this person does want to work on it um they do want to try whoever this is i feel a little more your energy like you might want to walk away from this but i don't know that this person really is going to try to change anything this is about wishing and hoping and believing none of these cards are really about change it's just new beginnings right i don't see the problem solved here Okay, so it's either that or somebody may be speaking to somebody else at a distance. Okay, tell me why this Wheel of Fortune and Six of Swords is in the mutual energy, please. Six of Swords, Three of Swords. Somebody wants to move on from whatever hurt, okay, here in the past. Because it, it's just a, a repeating cycle. Somebody got hurt here, okay? There was some sort of betrayal, heartbreak. Somebody wants to move forward from this. You both want to. However, it's like not being able to move forward off of it, right? And then it just has become complacent. We argue about the same thing over and over again. We don't have sex because, you know, we, we're both mad at each other, all right? So I don't know, you know, if this has to do with also money issues too, but um, yeah, I feel like you guys trigger each other, okay? You're not really talking very much. Talk to me about this hidden factor with the Six of Cups. Yeah, Knight of Cups. There's a lot of love here, um, but this is like... I 
I feel like there needs to be a romance brought back here. Like what's the hidden factor is that there needs to be an end of all the hurts, okay? All the swords got to come out of the back and there has to be a renewal because there is love there. The hidden factor is that there is a lot of love in this connection. You guys are very, very connected, but also what's hidden is the fact that somebody is hanging on to something that happened, okay? Talk to me about this outcome. Tell me about the outcome, please. Two of Wands. Okay, tell me about the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay. Okay. In the outcome, something is going to shake this, okay? There's going to be some sort of release, and I feel like somebody's going to make a choice to get out of their comfort zone here, okay? I feel like somebody's going to come out of their comfort zone, one or both of you guys. Um, it's been an ongoing sort of stuck energy, but I feel like this is having results. It's like when you decide that you're going to give up on the old stuff, the same old arguments, the same old problems and truly make change, things are beautiful and they seem to like want to move forward here. Okay. And plus, you know, seven of pentacles is about being patient and kind to each other, you know, waiting for something that this is, excuse me, this has been a long-term relationship. Um, you guys have both invested in this. So I feel like this is going to be worth it for you guys to f come to some sort of decision that works for both of you. Let go of that old stuff, whatever ha might have happened in the past. Release it. Get out of your comfort zone um, and, and work on this connection, okay? That's what I'm getting. I'm not getting a whole heap of weirdo cheating shit. Like a lot of that stuff comes up in readings. This person does, they do love and care about you, although I don't like that they have often been dismissive of your feelings. Uh, I don't like that at all, but this person, you know, they may have the desire, they're just not working on it yet. I feel like somebody just needs the support with it, but I don't know. It looks to me like some of you guys are over this. You just want something new in your life, okay? Some of you are over it. It's too much of the same shit. And sometimes when that trust is broken, when somebody really hurts you, it is incredibly difficult to get it back. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who says, look, I know it happened. Like, get over it. It was like a year ago. It was like three years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of dismissive junk I get. Okay. What else for cancer? Yeah. Past life relationship. How many times has the six of cups come up in here? Like two, three times. And it says romantic feelings. Mm -hmm. You guys really do love each other. There's a there's a beautiful love here. Okay. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's what you guys got to do. All right. That's like the outcome is making that decision to you know release any of the old baggage, right? And things uh, can quite possibly begin coming together. Okay, let's see. Last one or two here. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Y'all need a damn vacation. That's what y'all need. A lot of alcohol, a damn vacation, a lot of condoms if you're not trying to have kids. Okay, I said it. All right, the coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. I feel like you guys may need to learn to be friends all over again here feels a little bit like enemies being fake to each other okay not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundary still angry that's the most important part of this card okay so that's what I got for you guys. I do hope it works out for you and I hope that this reading was helpful to you. If it was, please make sure you smash the love button for your girl. Don't forget to subscribe uh, by hitting that notification bell on top and come back and see me. All right. See you guys later. Bye.